G'day everybody, Tin Man here. Uh, this is just a quick video on my HHO cell. Uh, just running it off our inverter welder. Um, the amps, I'm not sure if that's actually what's going into the cell in this situation or this is the amps that you would be using if welding. So two different situations. Um, I notice the volts go up when I turn the amps up, whereas when welding the volts should stay around three to four volts. It's probably because uh, the cell's not a direct arc short like a welding rod. So as far as this amp setting's going, I do not know. I don't think it will be drawing. Um, the amps indicated as the voltage is a lot higher but anyway it's uh, what I'm using just to test the cell at the moment uh, that's my cell I just made it out of some old PVC fittings laying around as you can see we have a bit of rust in our water through the bore um, now the plates I'm using is this perforated stainless mesh uh, the plates that are in there are actually half the size of this. There's nine plates altogether. Four on the negative side and five on the positive side seems to work best. Uh, I've just got this meter hooked up to show you the voltage across the cell. And of course just our bubbler here with the pipe going down into it. <coughs> so I'll just um, switch it on. It's um, as low as it can go under 10 amps apparently um, and the voltage across the cell at the moment is 4.7 now there is no neutral plates on this cell it is just positive negative positive negative um, so I may put one neutral plate in between <coughs> see if I can get this down to about 3 volts 2.5 to 3 volts so but anyway at 4.7 and like I said I don't know what the amps are coming out I did put an amp gauge on there but it picked it out at around the 20 mark the amp gauge said it was drawing 11.2 amps um, and they're only a 10 amp rated um, El cheapo meter, so um, this one here put up with about 11.7 amps for oh, 15 odd seconds before it toasted it. So I will have to get a bigger amp gauge, probably a auto amp gauge, one for a car, go up to 100 amps. So at this point in time. Um, this set on 20 amps is actually about 11.7 apparently. Um, a few little bubbles coming out there at the moment. And that's because we're not putting anything through it. So I'll turn it up to our 20 amps according to that. Um, as you can see it's gone up to 6.3 volts. And like I said, when welding the voltage should stay around 3 to 4 volts um, and only the amps go up, but it seems the volts go up instead of the amps when we're not uh, using it as a welder. Um, <coughs> so that's our bubbles there at the moment. I have done some measurements with it, but until I get an amp gauge I'm not going to post anything until I know what I'm actually using power-wise. So, um, like I said, if I turn this right up, as you can see this thing starts cooking. So that's uh, 22 volts across the cell at the moment. And... Um, there's probably enough to run the little motor that we've got set up for this, so 
I guess the next thing is to um, hook it all up to the engine and give it a whirl and see what happens. But that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I did try a car battery straight DC and the wires got very hot which would indicate to me it's using more amps and the bubbles were a lot less a lot less production with a straight DC um, this puts out a high frequency DC pulse and um, even with the wire, uh, amps wound right up for a run time of 15 minutes the wires they're not that big these little ones um, I do have two of them on there because I thought I would need it but would be quite happy with one because they don't get hot. Uh, 15 minutes of running, the water's still cool and that's with apparently 140 amps going through it. So can't be using that much. I would say a, um, well in this situation a pulse DC output is a much better than a straight DC output um, and this material seems to work very well in regards to cells so I'll be sticking with this I have a bit more of this so like I said I'll put a neutral plate in between each of the live plates and see what happens with the production uh, using the same machine Okay, uh, next video should be this hooked up to the motor and hopefully the motor running. Until then, cheers from the Tin Man.